वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन कल्टिवेशन प्रैक्टिसेस ऑफ टोमेटो फर्स्टली वी डिस्कस अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ टोमेटो फर्स्ट वी सी बॉटनिकल नेम ऑफ टोमेटो बॉटनिकल नेम ऑफ टोमेटो लाइको परसिकॉन स्कूलेंटम मिल देन इट्स फैमिली इट्स फैमिली सोलानासी क्रोमजोम नंबर टू एन इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर देन ओरिजिन पेरू एंड मेक्सिको इट्स अबाउट इट्स इंट्रोडक्शन देन नेक्स्ट वी सी बॉटनी ऑफ टोमेटो टोमेटो इज ए ट्रू डिप्लॉयड विथ टू एन इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर मीन्स इट्स क्रोमोजोम नंबर इट्स क्रोमोजोम नंबर इज टू एन इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर देन इट्स फैमिली सोलानासिप टोमेटो इज अ डे न्यूट्रल प्लांट प्लांट इज एन्युअल विथ हार्बेसियस स्टेम हैविंग डिटर्मिनंट और इनडिटर्मिनंट ग्रोथ हैबिट अकॉर्डिंग टू द ग्रोथ हैबिट इट्स हैविंग अ टू टाइप determinant or indeterminate growth habit and it is a annual plant according to life cycle of a plant three types annual biennial and perennial tomato is a annual plant then next point it is a self pollinated crop due to hermaphrodite flowers hermaphrodite means male and female flowers on a same plant is called as hermaphrodite self fertilization occurs when pollen grains are shedding during growth of style through anther corn it's about its botany then next economic importance of tomato first point tomato are consumed as fresh vegetable we can consume the tomato as a fresh vegetable then it is used for making of process product like ketchup sauce we can use the process product for example ketchup sauce it is a rich source of vitamins and minerals causing the nutritive value tomato is protective food tomato is also called as protective food due to it is a rich source of vitamins mineral so it is also called as a protective food in india tomato is called as poor man orange in our country india tomato is called as a poor man orange and in usa and england tomato is known as love apple in other countries like uh, england and usa tomato is also called as a love apple then area production and productivity of a tomato tomato is a cultivated throughout the world china usa india turkey and egypt are the top 5 tomato producing countries in the world in a world the top 5 uh, tomato producing countries china usa india turkey and egypt in india crop was grown in area of 3.5 into 10 raised to 5 per hectare with an annual production of 5.3 into 10 raised to 5 metric tons in this the tomato is given area and annual production of a tomato in bihar karnataka uttar pradesh orissa andhra pradesh maharashtra madhya pradesh haryana assam are the important tomato growing states in india in our india various states which are grown the tomatoes for example bihar karnataka uttar pradesh orissa andhra pradesh maharashtra मध्य प्रदेश हरियाणा एंड आसम देन नेक्स्ट पॉइंट अबाउट सॉइल रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर अ कल्टिवेशन ऑफ ए टोमेटो टोमेटो इज ग्रोन इन सैंडी टू हेवी क्ले टाइप ऑफ ए सॉइल फॉर द कल्टिवेशन ऑफ टोमेटो इट रिक्वायर्स सैंडी सॉइल टू हेवी क्ले टाइप ऑफ सॉइल सॉइल शुड बी फर्टाइल लोम गुड ड्रेनेज कॉपेसिटी गुड मॉइस्चर होल्डिंग कैपेसिटी इट इज अ गुड फॉर ए टोमेटो कल्टिवेशन Tomato is sensitive to high soil pH and grows well when the soil pH range is from 6.0 to 7.0. For the tomato cultivation, pH range is from 6.0 to 7.0, and it is sensitive to high soil pH range. The next point about climatic requirement for a tomato: it is a warm season crops and highly sensitive to frost and temperature. Tomato is a warm season crop and it is sensitive to frost and temperature the optimum temperature for seed germination is 24 degree celsius for the good seed germination tomato requires 24 degree celsius temperature dry and hot weather results in flower drop and poor fruit setting if the weather is hot the results is dropping of flower and poor fruit setting in a tomato day temperatures of 25 to 30 degree celsius and night temperature of 15 to 20 degree celsius are optimum for growth and fruit setting for the tomato it requires day temperature ranges from 25 to 30 degree celsius and night temperature 
15 to 20 degree Celsius is good for a fruit setting of a tomato. Fruit setting is affected when average daily temperature exceeds 30 degree Celsius or fall below 10 degree Celsius. Affected on the fruit setting, the temperature is below the 10 degree Celsius or more than the 30 degree Celsius. Then color development. In tomato, red color is due to pigment lycopene. In tomato, red color due to pigment lycopene. Lycopene is highest at 80 to 26 degree Celsius. Means the color development temperature ranges from 80 to 26 degree Celsius. It's about climatic requirement for a tomato. Means it is a warm season crop. Uh, it requires uh, day temperature 25 to 30 degree Celsius. Optimum temperature for seed germination 24 degree Celsius. And the color development uh, due to the pigment lycopene. And the lycopene is highest at the temperature ranges 18 to 26 degree Celsius. Then next point about varieties of a tomato. That is the first one variety was Sundara. This one variety developed from MAU Parbani means VNMKV. Vasantrao Naik Maratwada Krishna Vidyapit Parbani developed this variety. And the special features of variety determinant resistant to early blight and spotted wilt virus diseases. Vasundara variety of a tomato is resistant to early blight of tomato and spotted wilt virus disease. The next one ATH1. This one variety developed from VNM KV Parbani, also MAU Parbani means Maratwada Agriculture University renamed Vasantrao Naik Maratwada Krishna Vidyapit Parbani. Average yield is 550 quintals per hectare. It has indeterminate growth habit. Food color is attractive. Red. It is resistant to early blight disease. They are having two types of growth habit, determinant and indeterminate and the ATH1 is indeterminate growth habit. The fruit color of tomato is uh, attractive and red. The next one variety Devgiri also called as a ATV2 developed by VNMKV Parbani. It is a superior to ATV1 and Pusa Ruby. Fruits are of medium size 90 to 95 gram per fruit and average yield is 550 quintal per hectare. Then ATV1 developed by Parbani. Determinant leaves are large with dark green color. Fruits are medium size. It is moderately resistant to early blight. Release in a 1985. This one variety release in a year 1985. Then next one Bhagyasri. This one variety developed by MPKV Rauri. Mahatma Pule Krishna Vidyapit Rauri developed by this variety. The special features of this variety. Fruits are medium to be dark red in color, high lycopene content, low seed content, yield is 520 quintal per hectare. The variety Bhagyasri, its fruits are medium to big and the lycopene content is high and the yield is 520 quintal per hectare. Then next Dhanasri, this one variety developed by MPKV Rauri, features tolerant to spotted wilt virus and lipcur wild rice and yield 600 to 800 quintal per hectare. The next one variety is Sonali. This one variety developed by BSKKV Dapoli. Parasar Savan Kokan Krishi Vidyapit developed this variety that is a Sonali. And the features are, it is a high yielding variety, good quality and bacterial wilt resistant varieties, good keeping quality and transport qualities. The next one Pusa Ruby. This one variety developed by IRI New Delhi. Features medium size fruits, yellow stem end, acidic in taste and ripening is a uniform ripening. Pusa ruby variety having a specific feature, it's having a uniform in a ripening. The next one Pusa Gaurav. This one variety developed by IRI New Delhi. This variety is suitable for a processing. Means making of a tomato ketchup sauce. Then last one Arka Saurabh. This one variety developed from IIHR Bangalore. Features fruits are round, medium, large and deep red, suitable for market and processing. This one variety for suitable processing and marketing. Then next, sowing time and seed rate of a tomato. The seeds are sown in well prepared nursery beds. Firstly, the seeds are sown in a well prepared nursery beds. Then sowing time. It can be cultivated in a three season, Kharib, Rabi and summer season. 
इन खरीफ सीजन मे टू जून रबी सीजन ऑगस्ट टू सप्टेंबर एंड समर सीजन डिसेंबर टू जनवरी देन सीड रेट फाइव हंड्रेड टू सिक्स हंड्रेड ग्राम सीड्स पर हेक्टर इट्स अबाउट सीड रेट सीड रेट फॉर ए टोमैटो फाइव हंड्रेड टू सिक्स हंड्रेड ग्राम सीड्स पर हेक्टर देन ट्रांसप्लांटिंग फर्स्टली वी सो द सीड ऑन ए वेल प्रिपेयर नर्सरी बेड देन दे आर ट्रांसप्लांटेड ऑन अ मेन फील्ड प्लांट्स आर अबाउट थ्री टू फोर वीक्स ओल्ड शुड बी ट्रांसप्लांटेड अपटर थ्री टू फोर वीक्स द प्लांट्स आर ट्रांसप्लांटेड ऑन अ मेन फील्ड देन ले आउट एंड स्पेसिंग रिचेस एंड फ्यूरो टाइप ऑफ ले आउट इज यूज फॉर द कल्टिवेशन ऑफ अ टोमैटो रिजेस एंड फ्यूरो टाइप ऑफ ले आउट इज यूज द स्पेसिंग इज रिकमेंडेड फॉर टोमैटो क्रॉप इज सिक्सटी सेंटीमीटर टू सेवेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर इन टू सिक्सटी सेंटीमीटर देन नेक्स्ट सीड ट्रीटमेंट बिफोर सोइंग द ट्रीट द सीड विथ टू टू थ्री ग्राम कैप्टन पर थायरम पर के जी ऑफ अ सीड सीड सोइंग बिफोर द सीड सोइंग गिव द सीड ट्रीटमेंट बाय कैप्टन और थायरम टू टू थ्री ग्राम पर के जी ऑफ अ सीड इट्स अबाउट सोइंग टाइम एंड सीड रेट सोइंग टाइम थ्री सीजन मीन्स खरीप रबी एंड समर देन सीड रेट फाइव हंड्रेड टू सिक्स हंड्रेड ग्राम देन ट्रांसप्लांटिंग टाइम इट शुड बी ट्रांसप्लांटेड थ्री टू फोर वीक्स ओल्ड and layout and spacing ridges and furrow type of layout is used for a tomato and seed treatment thyrum and capton is used for a seed treatment then next about manures and fertilizers 15 to 20 tons of your fium or compost should be applied in the soil and incorporated in it during the field preparation at the time of field preparation we should apply the 50 to 20 ton of your fium or compost then fertilizers 100 kg nitrogen 50 kg phosphorus and 50 kg potash per hectare should be applied for getting a better yield of tomato means npk dose 100 as 50 as 50 npk per hectare for a better yield of a tomato it's about manures and fertilizers requirement for a tomato then next irrigation furo irrigation is most common method in a tomato crop there are different methods of irrig irrigation but in a tomato we can use a furrow irrigation method frequency of irrigation depends on the climatic and soil condition we we given a irrigation to the plant and it depends on a soil condition means soil moisture soil status and climatic condition depends the irrigation during summer crop should be irrigated at 3 to 4 days interval at the summer season the crop should be irrigated 3 to 4 days interval water stress at flowering stage will adversely affect fruiting and productivity drip irrigation and sprinkler irrigation are becoming more common in area of a water shortage means if the area having a water scarcity then we can use a drip irrigation system or sprinkler irrigation system for a tomato it's about irrigation then next intercultural operation that is the first one weeding field should be kept weed free for a good package of practices otherwise cultivation practices the must field should be kept weed free application of pendamethalin 1.0 kg active ingredient per hectare as per emergence spray along with one hand weeding otherwise oxyfluron 0.25 kg active ingredient per hectare and basalin 1.0 kg active ingredient per hectare were also ideal as pre emergence application we can use pre emergence application for a for controlling of a weed then post emergence spray of sensor 0.5 kg active ingredient was also effective at the all india coordinated trials this is about intercultural operation weeding we can use pre emergence application also post emergence spray for controlling of a weed then next mulching second intercultural operation mulching firstly we see what is the mulching definition of a mulching mulching is the covering on the soil surface to conserve the soil moisture by material like polythene film straw etc mulching means covering the soil surface or conserving the soil moisture and the use mulch material like a polythene film straw dust sugar cane trash that is the mulch material we can use for the covering the soil surface then advantages of mulching conservation of water reduce tillage and use of weed control chemicals reduce evaporation control soil erosion and last point improve the crop performance that is the advantages of a mulching first conservation of water then 
reduce tillage and reduce weed control chemical reduce evaporation losses uh, help to control soil erosion and improve the crop performance by the mulching process then next training and staking in the tomato special practice followed training and staking training is the Im important for indeterminate and semi determinate varieties that is the growth habit according to growth habit tomatoes are determinate indeterminate and semi determinate varieties training is done with the help of vertical support 2 to 3 weeks after transplanting transplanting after transplanting the training is a done in a tomato with the help of a vertical support the main shoot is trained upright while the axillary shoots are removed by pinching the main shoot of a tomato is trained upright and it otherwise axillary shoots are removed by the pinching training increases fruit size and yield reduces fruit rot and easy spring and harvesting facilitate pruning pinching and other cultural operation training helps to improve fruit size and yield also reduce the fruit rot incidence then easy for spraying harvesting facilitate pruning pinching and other cultural operation the usual method of training is to twist the stem along stings or tied to wire hung from supports the usual method of training is twisting the stem along with the help of a uh, stings otherwise wire from supports arch method of training is commonly used many tying wire are placed over the rows of a plants 180 cm above the soil determinant types are stuck in the wet season to prevent the fruit contact with the soil determinant types of a branches are stuck in the wet season to prevent the fruit contact with the soil it's about training and sticking operation followed in a tomato then next harvesting of a tomato according to the use of fruits they are harvested in a following stage first one stage green stage the fruits will develop normal color of wine though they are still green yet they may be fully developed these fruits are picked and sent to distance market in the harvesting first one harvesting stages of a tomato first one green stage green stage of tomato are sent to distant market and the normally on a skin of a tomato develop normal color of a wine and the color is a still green fully develop of a tomato and this green stage of tomato are sent to distant market that is the first one stage of harvesting green stage then second pink stage at this stage red or pink color develop on the fruits on a skin of a fruits so development of a red or pink color at this stage most of the fruits are red yet they are not fully ripe they are picked for local markets pink stage of tomato are picking for a local markets then next ripe stage at this stage the surface of most of the fruit is red and the softening of the fruit begins third one stage of harvesting is a ripe stage and this uh, ripe stage the fruits is a red and softening is a begin they may be picked for home and table use ripe stage of fruits are used for home purpose otherwise table purpose then last one fully ripe stage at this stage the fruits have approach maximum color development and may feel soft to the touch they are ordinarily used within 24 hours of picking and are consumed or used for canning and pickling last one fully ripe stage of tomato are used for processing also canning and pickling fully development of a red color in this fully ripe stage and they are ordinarily used within a 24 hours they are used in a 24 hours that is the four stages of a harvesting green stage pink stage red stage and fully ripe stage of a tomato it's about harvesting stages of a tomato then next yield it varies 160 to 200 quintals per hectare according to season and variety planted in case of hybrids yield ranging from 500 to 1000 quintal per hectare during the crop ranges from 160 to 180 days the yield of tomato is according to season and variety 
but the average yield is 162 to 200 quintals per hectare and the hybrid yield ranging from 500 to 1000 quintals per hectare and the duration of crop is 160 to 180 days it's about yield general yield 162 to 200 quintal per hectare and the hybrid yield 500 to 1000 quintal per hectare then next post harvest management of a tomato post harvest management of a tomato before marketing grading is done according to maturity and size of a fruits marketing before marketing we done the grading according to the maturity and size of a fruits damage disease undersize and oversized fruits are removed from the consignment before marketing we done the grading for a grading removing the damaged diseased undersized or oversized fruits the bureau of indian standard has a specified four grade that is the first one super a super fancy and commercial means for the tomato marketing that is the four grade first one super a super fancy and commercial tomato fruits harvested at mature green stage can be stored for two to three weeks at 30 to 80 degrees celsius and 80 to 90 percent relative humidity if the we are harvested tomato fruits at mature green stage they can be stored for two to three weeks relative humidity 80 to 90 percent and temperature 30 to 80 degrees celsius overripe fruits are sent to the fruit processing industry for a processing the overripe fruits are used for processing and then they are sent to processing industry for making of a various processed product it's about post harvest management of a tomato before marketing grading is done grade the before grading damage this is under sized oversized fruits are removed then bureau of indian standard having a specified grades super a super fancy and commercial it is the post harvest management then physiological disorders first one blossom in rot brown or black spot develop on the blossom end of the fruits this disorder is due to the calcium deficiency first one physiological disorder blossom in rot and it is due to the deficiency of a calcium then second blotchy ripening greenish yellow color patches on ripened fruit especially on the steam end characterize blotchy ripening blotchy ripening is a second physiological disorder greenish or yellow color patches uh, show on a ripen fruit especially on a stem end this disorder developed due to the unbalanced nitrogen and potassium availability in the soil water deficiency and due to genetic factor blotchy ripening physiological disorder caused due to the unbalanced nitrogen and potassium availability water deficiency and due to genetic factors the next catfish fruits which catfish are characterized by the distortion in normally the those develop under suboptimal temperature conditions are more prone to catfish than those developing under optimal condition third one physiological disorder is catfish the catfish is characterized distortion in normally this is due to the suboptimal temperature the next sun scald exposure of green fruits to sun in the month of intense heat result in loss of chlorophyll on the exposed surface and softening of the whitened tissue next one fourth one physiological disorder sun scald it is due to the exposure of green fruits to the sun more intense heat result in loss of chlorophyll and softening or whitened tissue on a surface of a fruit that is the sun scald the next cracking of a fruit high temperature accompanied by high humidity especially after long dry spell favors cracking boron deficiency and genetic factors also contribute towards fruit cracking the fruit cracking is due to the deficiency of boron or also genetic factor or also high temperature or a high humidity then puffiness the, the outer wall of the fruit is normal but the tomato is a hollow inside puffiness is due to high and low temperature and excessive nitrogen nitrogen fertilizer puffiness is due to the excessive application of nitrogen fertilizer 
or a low temperature or high temperature then next plant protection measures insect pest that is the first one fruit borer damaged leaves shoot and fruits become unfit for a consumption first insect pest here uh, by first one fruit borer fruit borer damage the leaves shoot and fruits and this fruits become unfit for a consumption control measure giving spray carbaryl 50 wp wettable powder at the rate 0.3% or carbaryl dust 10% at the rate 25 kg per hectare or infested shoot and fruit removed and destroyed then just it this suck the sap from tender part and leaves just it is a sucking pest and this suck the cell sap from a tender part and leaves for the control spray endosulfan then mealybug a scale insect that covers up the whole plant and suck the sap from the plant remove of infected shoots and spraying the plant any miticide at the rate 1 Uh, one ml per liter of water is the best method for controlling this uh, pest. Then diseases: early blight of a tomato. Dark brown to black spots are found on leaves and the stem with concentric rings on them. Plant growth is affected. Fruit size and yield also affected. Early blight of a tomato. On a leaves showing the symptoms: dark brown to black spots are found on a leaves. due to the early blight plant growth is affected fruit size and yield also affected control measures spray copper of the chloride 15 wettable powder at the rate 0.30% or zinep 75 wettable powder the next damping of affected seedling rot at collar region in nursery bed due to stagnation of water in a nursery damping of this is are occur in a nursery and it is due to the stagnation of a water control treat seeds with 1% mercury fungicide at the rate 2.5 to 3.0 g per kg of seeds before sowing fruit rot brownish spot appear on fruit at the point of contact between fruit and soil fruit decay rapidly and become unfit for a consumption control support the plant properly plant on ridges in irrigated soil don't plant on poor drainage soil spray gordax mixture for the control of fruit rot then viral diseases tomato mosaic virus is the most common virus disease that is the viral diseases tomato mosaic virus it causes light and dark mottling in the foliage followed by slight curling and some malformation of the leaflets means mottling or curling of a leaves control the insect vector should be controlled by spraying the crop with dimethoid or demicron 100 ec 0.5% 0.5 ml per liter of a water okay thank you it's about cultivation practices of a tomato we see starting from general introduction to last plant protection of a plant